Turn off the Wi Fi. Yes, please. Set timer for 20 minutes. All right. So, good morning. We're only going to be live for 20 minutes. It's on my watch. When my, wa when my wrist starts vibrating, we have to be done. I have a lot to do today. Um, I am going to be working on roofing. Um, I'm not going to go live on Patreon while doing this because um, I just, it's, it's too much. It's too much and I, I gotta get it done. Like I can't answer comments and I just, I gotta get it. Gotta get knocked out. Max and Coco are so happy that the thunder and lightning's over and we have somewhat clear skies today so they could come out and roam around. I'm gonna go let Zeus and Lexi out also, but we did get some Amazon goodness that I need to open and see what it is before I start feeding animals um, and then going and working on my on project. Roofing. Uh, so we gotta get Titan moved up to the front. Morning, and, Heather. Um, I'm gonna be in Titan's enclosure all day, but yesterday. But while you're feeding, I need to move puppies to the back so I can drain their tank. You might have to put that on hold today. Okay. We might have to do that tomorrow. Okay. When I actually have help to hang stuff. Stuff. Well, I'll be as soon as I'm done, I'll be in there to help you. I yeah. I well, I need help with sloths and stuff today too. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm hey. hearing is I won't be done. Probably not. <laughs> Uh, Jeremy's off today, and so uh, it, we're gonna gotta take care of the animals first. But I gotta get started on this roofing stuff. I just I have to. So I got all the the brackets stuff to do it, and um, it's but lifting up four by fours and leveling and all that stuff. It's it just takes you a little bit longer when you have one person, but it's okay. We'll get it done. Um, and he'll be back tomorrow to help me. So we are going to open this Amazon goodness, see what it is, and then we're gonna go. Let Zeus and Lexi out, because they are aching to get out. Um, it's already been a really long day. <laughs> it's only 8.07. You have to remember, I've been up for four hours. I know. All right. Yeah. So. Right, because Corporal's four is eight. <laughs> Let's see here. Amazon fulfillment. Four. Morning, Dan. Letters of the heart. Leave that address, if not that. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, Stephanie. Sending love, light, prayer, light. Sending love, light, prayers, hugs. Your passion for what you all do. Oh. I love you, Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, keep up the good fight. So will we. Love you all. Uh, you have one more coming. No, no option. It's Nummy from Stephanie. Okay, so. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> Could it be? It is. <gasps> it is. So, Holly, tell them of your knife experience yesterday. So, uh, been using my new knives the last two days. And one, no matter how much I sharpen my old knives, they never cut like butter again. Um, these guys, the new ones just went through like it was so nice. And then I used my hatchet on a chicken to cut it in half. Normally, it takes me seven to ten wax to get it completely in half. Took me two. Two. It was so amazing. I literally hear, Ashley! <laughs> it only took two times! I'm like, what? It only took two times! And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she, like, comes down the wolf run, and she's like, My, my hatchet! Two times! It only took... Two times to get through the turkey. And I'm like, oh, I bet that's fantastic. It was amazing. But this one. Woo! All right. This is. Holly. Let's see where's the opening. There it is. Wow. Thank you so much, Stephanie. That is pretty awesome. That's exciting. It goes this way, I think. So, thank you for sending that in, Stephanie. Oh, that's kind of a cool case. Awesome. So, today's going to be a busy day. Get stuff on my side. Holly's going to be excited for that I am. Got to cut meat again. And she sent in a little puzzle. Oh, sweet. So, we'll go give that to somebody this morning, and then we'll get going, because 
again, we have a lot to do. Is the address and links good to send a donation check to? So the one that says mailing address is the mailing address for checks. That goes to my accountant to get that stuff deposited and get you your tax receipts and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that is that is the appropriate one to use. Um, yes, uh, but for sending items, you can email me and I'll give you the address to send stuff to. Um, I would prefer to not have to go out to my accountants to pick up stuff to bring there, um, but if I have to, it's, it's, not, oh, thank you. it's not a big deal. Um, she calls and tells me. So we'll go fill this up really quick and we'll give this to somebody. I know. The mosquitoes are bad. And then the mosquitoes are just like, you know what I noticed yesterday? No mosquitoes. Yeah, I did. Yesterday was such a beautiful day because it was like, I, in my entire life of living in Anacortes, 37 years, I have never ever seen thunder go all day. Right. Like from the day before into the next day and didn't finish until that night. And we were, we were sitting, Rylan and I were sitting and I was eating my, um, my pad thai and, uh, the sky was just kind of lighting up and like, it was just, the thunder was rolling. Like it was, the house was shaking and I'm sitting there going, Oh, I love this. I just absolutely like that. I was in such, it hey, was Lisa. such a good day yesterday for a while <laughs> until the end. Then the end sucked, but so the beginning of the day was great. Kathleen wants to know if you got her donation for the bird food. I did. I did. Thank you. I, I'm going to, um, I, I actually think that, uh, the bird food got all bought, but we do desperately need mealworms. So I think that I'm going to get that with that because mealworms are not cheap. Yesterday was also one of my favorite types of day. It didn't start raining until we left for to go home <laughs> we holly and i literally went and sat in the cabin because my mom was dropping off rye um and like we went we sat in the cabin and the moment we were walking up the stairs the sky opened and it just started like to, downpour and like the drops i mean the droplets were just like it, so intense like so intense it was so great morning um, judy and so we just sat in there and listened to the thunder and rain while we waited for Rye. And then Hi, Michelle. When Rye got here, she ran up into the gift shop. She was soaked by the time she got from my mom's car up to our gift shop. And uh, she was like, it's raining. <laughs> We're like, it is raining. And then Rylan and I had uh, puddle puddle jumping competitions. Too. She got me really good. So I made the mistake of teaching her that if you kind of do this kind of thing, you can get that person wet. So you taught her that? I did. So I was walking. We were walking into the DLL. And I like went, and I, I got her, I got her good. And as we were walking out, dude, she did it perfectly. I mean, I was soaked from like the top of my head down to my toes. Like she, she got me so good. She was like, ah, oh. it was, it was good. It was, it was really good. So let's go get this filled. And we'll go give it to Odie. Uh -huh. Hi everyone. So we'll give Odie a couple different things. Try to think of what fits in those little tiny capsules there. Mealworms. Mealworms does. Cheerios. I don't know if they have any Cheerios left. Yeah, I think we're out of Cheerios. A little bit insectivore. A little bit of mealworms. Okay. So, I'll do a little mixture here of some insectivore and mealworms, which is he absolutely loves. This is kind of, I mean, obviously he wouldn't be eating mealworms because we don't really have these crawling through the, you know, through our ground here, but they do, he does love some mealworms. And not too much. You still have to be able to close these things, but. And then we also don't want to fill him up before he gets his actual breakfast. <laughs> I know. So uh, skunks are overindulgers. So, Thank you like, for the presents. They will, they will eat and eat and eat and eat. Like that's actually one of the number one reasons skunks die in the wild and in captivity is because they will eat themselves to death. So uh, it's pretty, I mean, that's, that's kind of the role in which they play here is, is to keep things clean and mm -hmm. just eat and eat and eat and eat until they can't eat anymore. So we are doing good. We are surviving. <clears throat> All right, let's go do this to Odie, and we'll go. And today we'll go get, tomorrow we'll do Dolly Balls. Please know that Holly's birthday is coming up, and we are running a birthday campaign for her. 
That is, uh, all donations are donated in honor of Holly's birthday, but they all go to helping these animals continue their good diets and continue to stay alive right now is what we're working towards. So, Hi. Bean can't have it. He's gonna come out of there. Come on, buddy. Odie Spagoti. Where's your little nose? I, I like see a nose. How you lay under the bed and not on top. Odie. Odie. Stephanie got you a present. Come on. Good morning. Oh, it's Ashley. What is that? He's actually really good about these puzzles. He's like, there's no peanuts. Peanuts won't fit, Ode. <laughs> He's just finding the mealworms he wants to eat first. So it is really important to give your animals some enrichment, you know, um, since they aren't in the wild, um, they do need something to keep their mind a little bit busy. They can't just wander around on endless acres. So we try really hard to make sure that even if it's a box for them to destroy, that they have something to do. You say thank you, Stephanie. He is looking for mealworms and insectivore. And he's trying to figure out how to fit his nose in something. <laughs> Doug is the most vocal duck. She's our Lexi duck. Right? Mm hmm. And then I'll go let Zeus and Lexi out after he. See, he already slid it over. He's, he's a pretty smart, smart dude. He knows these puzzle things are not, are not rough. For him to see there he goes good job Odie yeah normally when mealworms and all that are involved he uh figures it out <laughs> won't come and grab Ashley that's true <laughs> that is true very highly mo food motivated I love Odie though I am sorry I gave you an IV but you know what you're still alive so love you buddy which he's going to be having a spa day here very soon so I can trim his little toenails and do all that. So let's go let Zeus and Lexi out because we are down to six minutes. So I have to do that and then we're going to get going so I can get my stuff. Hey, Squeaks. So I got to go get Yes, all everyone's kind of starting to build their winter coat in. They are. They are. It's, it's, it's weird because like it's to wake up and be like, or we never had Thank a summer. Thank you, Judith. We never had a summer here, really. Happy Brent. Well, you know that for a minute. Um, yeah, we never, we didn't have a good summer. And it's so weird because like the Midwest and the East Coast, I guess, just got like, well, you guys had like one of the hottest summers you've ever had. Yeah. And we've had like one of the most mild, calmest, I think we only had like, maybe a dozen days where it's like we gotta turn the misters on mm -hmm. and that's it and now that we have misters on everything it's cold it's like 60 you're, degrees you're welcome thank you're welcome. you so much I got the air in the gift shop that came from my house it's we didn't, i didn't buy it i already had it and i brought it out here to have for when we were in trial uh or in the hearing and uh it, it's been cold ever since so you're welcome whenever i prepare it, it does look awesome. so judith just sent in 20 dollars for the birthday fundraiser does anyone want to match her oh, okay. and uh nothing's wrong with Odie. he did get sick a few months ago and ashley had to uh iv him which is why he hates her <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like, so when they say IV, I don't go into the vein or anything. Um, a lot of times animals, when they're not feeling well, will go into dehydration. So you have to do under the skin fluids. Um, and so 
I've done those for several animals in my lifetime. Uh, mainly, you know, I've only had to do it on the exotics a few times. I had to do it on Sasha, our lynx. I've had to do it on a couple bobcats. Um, God, that chicken screaming sounds like uh, Leo or Penny. Ah! <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, um, and so Odie was kind of down and out. And so we did, uh, I thought he was actually going to pass away. And we started him on under the skin fluids and uh, he's doing, he, he rebound back um, um, pretty immediately. So um, anyway, he hates me though for doing that. Unity148 says he still loves you, Ashley. Yeah, he does not, but it's okay. He loves the taste of you. He does. He loves, he loves to bite me. Uh, oh, sorry. I just got to walk this real quick before I let them out. Yeah, Paula and Dan, we had a couple warm days, but normally we get like a month of straight hot days, and we haven't had that yet. And now it already feels like fall. All the leaves are falling. It's foggy and wet and stormy. It's so So they didn't get to come out yesterday because of those storms. So they're very excited. Those are our juveniles crying because we haven't said good morning to them yet. Sorry guys, they went to the other enclosure. I can't really see them. Zeus! Lexi Lou! So we got like five seconds of them running up into the other run. Zeus! <laughs> so there's new smells in there because I had to put a different wolf dog in there yesterday as I was doing the fences and taking down cables. So to kind of give you guys a rough demand, oh, today, yesterday was a, a very productive day. Uh, we ended up doing stuff that we weren't planning on doing yesterday in preparation to uh, be topping our runs in the back. Now our runs that are over in the side have perimeter fencing. So there's a couple of them that weren't topped. We found out a way to be able to do a little bit of a longer strand topping. Um, and so we're gonna, I'm, that's what I'm working on today. But a really good day um, yesterday was that uh, the previous president had strung lights and a cable. You can see those two tall poles there, which I'm actually gonna be cutting down today. So excited! Um, I, we got, Jeremy and I got one taken down yesterday, but what we did is we actually pulled that cable out, pulled all those string lights, which we have not used because animals do need complete darkness. Um, and it was just a really good feeling to get that taken down. He also had this metal truss type thing in one of our wolf enclosure or wolf dog enclosures um, that had at one point had big lights on it. Um, and this thing is it it was it was big. It was big it and was heavy. Heavy. 
The reason I know that is because when we first started traveling, so when uh, he first started his programs, mind you, I've kind of been through all the transitioning of maybe things shouldn't be 700 pounds when we go travel. So as I'm 12 years old, he built these things that, oh my God, so many memories. Um, I built the, we built both these things that like, um, they were metal trusses and the metal truss fit inside of another metal truss. And then when we did our show, we took these metal trusses out and we, they're about, I want to say they're probably about 10 foot, 12 foot high. And we set those up and then I got to climb up on top of those metal trusses and I got to lift a truss bar up onto those. They had little U hooks on them where you lifted the trusses on there. And we actually had trusses that went all the way around. The first truss was a light bar. The second ones were light bars. They're all different colors. They had all different kinds of lights on them. Um, and then we had curtains that went all the way around those trusses. I mean, it, was, it was a big deal. So when we finally retired those huge things out, for some reason he thought it was a good idea to stack one on top of the other and bolt them together and put lights on there so that if he had to come down here at night, he could turn this lighting system on that just like went ah, out here. Um, I took that down. <laughs> oh my God. It was, it was such a good feeling to be like timber and like knock down the first one. And then to get the other one out was concreted in. And so we had to do all that. But so a lot more work yesterday done than we thought. Here they come. Than we were anticipating on doing. But it's all steps in the right direction. It needs to be done anyway. We just had to do it sooner than we thought we were going to have to do it. And Lexi, Lexi is got the ball. Excited to have her bark box ball. Uh, if you guys are looking for a really good subscription for your guys' dogs, we are not paid by BarkBox, nor are we supported by them yet directly. Um, we're, we're impressed thus far with the BarkBoxes. Now we've only gotten uh, two of their um, bark boxes, but they've, they've, they were good. And uh, so far, the, the indestructible balls are holding up fairly okay with them. Um, no, we're not going to be putting new party lights in. We want no lights. We want no lights out here. We want, um, now we do want a couple lights that we could turn on if we come out here at nighttime and, and need lighting, but it's not going to be like um, a prison <laughs> where it lights up the whole schoolyard. You know, it's, that's, not, that's not what we want. We want something that is subtle, that's on a switch that we can turn on if needed at times but all of my cameras have night vision, so I'm able to kind of see into everything fairly, fairly good through that. Um, That's awesome, Paula. I'm actually very impressed with the bark box too. Yeah, we, we did, it was, it was good. Uh, I think the, the best toy that they sent to us thus far though, is there, it almost looks like the ab rollers. You know, yeah. You go out and you come back. <laughs> uh, it looks like that. So it's like this big wheel type thing with, you know, a holder. Anyway, uh, they have not been able to destroy that which has been fantastic. And a couple of them have actually taken very, they like it a lot. So I'm gonna go hang four by fours now. I'm gonna go run those and get everything cut to size. And you put my notepad in the your in my, cabinet yeah. with my pin with it too. No, I decided to throw that somewhere else. No, I didn't know if I left it. With oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all the time so i don't know if i took it home or it was in my pocket at one point maybe it fell out um okay good so my pin's still there so i'm gonna go finish taking measurements get all everything cut get some we gotta move uh tighten up front and get the pups moved up front and um play a little bit of move wolf moving this morning um and please know when we move wolves they go from an enclosure to an enclosure to an enclosure so we're not just free ranging them um but we Oh, good girl, Lex. Go, Lexi, go. Get it. Get it, Zeus. Good boy. Get it, Zeus. Get your ball. Good boy. Good boy, Zeus. Get it. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Zeus. That's awesome that you're giving your dogs complete darkness. Yeah. I give myself complete darkness. See, Kathleen says from... From one of your lives, you talked about animals needing complete darkness. It has been a big change for my dog. Has it really? I'm so glad. I'm so glad that that you you do notice uh, things and change in behaviors and and all of that. It really does. People don't realize that even having 
you think that you want to leave a night light or something on for your dogs and you you don't they they do need that complete darkness they do need that your kids need complete darkness uh so i never ever from all that i've learned in my lifetime i never had night lights and stuff in my kids rooms uh, i never encouraged that i always try to make sure that even my kids get complete darkness at night um you know so I may have ruined them a little bit because now they want complete darkness at night, but good girl, Lex. Good girl. It's going to roll. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Is it on the hot fence? Good luck. <laughs> it's plastic. She should be fine. Um, we'll find out. Good girl. Good girl. Say thank you for my bark box. And see how smart she is? She's literally playing with herself. Like she can like, you know, she takes Now you gotta chase it. Oh, I need complete darkness to sleep. I literally have taped off any lights that come on like any chargers that I have. So I don't even get those little lights. <laughs> we were talking about that the other day. <laughs> we have gorilla tape on our little light bulb. Um, good girl, Lex, good girl. She's excited to be out and about and that the storms and stuff are past, so. I know, it's ended up being a gorgeous day. It smells so good out here, so fresh out here. So, anyway, thank you guys for following us. We apologize for the short lives, but I, I gotta get stuff done. Um, if we had a staff of seven once again, um, maybe one day again, uh, it, things would be a little bit different, a little bit easier. I'm looking around, all the bamboo needs to be topped and mm -hmm. cut. And, all that kind of stuff. Keep that under control. It's getting a little, a little crazy. Getting a little crazy. Um, yeah. And I cannot believe that came back. <laughs> I know. It came back. I just can't even believe it. That's. I'm impressed. So, Willow, you're fine. <laughs> you're perfectly fine. Where did I put my, did I not bring my coffee down here? I thought I did. Uh, you may have left it on Jeremy's station. Oh, I did. You're right. I did. Um, okay. Clearly not enough coffee today for me, but I'm trying to detox myself with coffee. So a little bit. It is really hard to kill. It keeps coming back. Yeah. So we're very fortunate that somebody didn't plant spreading bamboo or else this entire compound would probably be ba bambooed. Um, we have clumping bamboo, so it doesn't doesn't go out usually too much too much um so that is one good thing but i will be excited one day to rip out and sell all this bamboo that's gonna be a good a good day so us. how about having a 24 hour live on some animals so here's the thing about that that means that we all have to filter ourselves out here <laughs> <laughs> to be quite honest um <laughs> I don't want to. Yesterday, if you guys, there's, it's a good thing I didn't go live on Patreon because, like, first of all, it just reminds me of something that I can't say on a live because then it will be used against me in the court of law. But because um, everything thus far that I post tends to be being watched and they're trying to turn it to use it against me in any way they can. So anyway, but I, my mouth was not the best yesterday because as I was realizing some of the things now please note the things that i realized doesn't affect the enclosures in which they're currently in it was just how it was done i'm just going like just even how he set the poles that hold the cable i'm just going ah! you know like just so frustrated with oh <laughs> so zeus goes. just swiped out <laughs> he's gonna wipe out again it's slippery the ground's slippery buddy Yes, Willow really wants us to go say hi, and she's getting excited because these guys are playing tag. So as soon as we are done with this live, I am going to go in and say hi to him. Yeah, she's got her nitro gel in today, which means he's going to love all, all over me. Head. But it was just looking at that, I may have dropped quite a few inappropriate words yesterday. Right, I, Heather? When I do construction, I tend to have a little bit more of a potty mouth than I probably should. Um, and it's weird how it's when it's only, oh, it's honestly only when I'm really doing construction that I'm like, Holly will hear me and she'll go, what? <laughs> I'm just like 
stuck. I'm freaking frustrated. I'm just like, because I'm just, I, I get frustrated that I want things to be really great out here. And the other part of it is too, is it does kind of create a PTSD for me with him. Um, but again, nothing that we found was like structurally harming. It was just why, like, why was it done like that? Why, why did you make this so complicated? Why did you zip tie the lights to the entirety of the cable? Why do we use three different size screws, screws yeah. for <laughs> the <Yeah>. same project? <laughs> to a quarter inch to like a Phillips to it and you're going all in the same all in the same, same pole <laughs> all in the same pole and he screwed the platform from the upside this way not this way this way so you're under a platform I'm just going oh my god why what why why did you do it like this it makes it so much more complicated because when we dropped the truss I was like I don't care if it it breaks their platform like I I, it needs to be fixed anyway, so let's break it. Let's actually level the planks, and we'll just do it right, you know, and not have it be that way. And uh, so it fell, and I broke the planks, just three of them. So I went to go screw them on appropriately and cut them to the appropriate sizes. And I went to go screw it down, and I lift the plank up, and everything screwed from the bottom down. So now I have to get underneath a platform and do it backwards, and I'm just going, and... They're not the same sizes. So I ended up just literally just angle grinding all the screws off because I was just like, I'm not, I, I, why? So that's why I get frustrated. It's one of those days like every day out here. So I, well, <laughs> anything that we're taking apart that was him done, it, it literally, you, you need, I have to bring my whole bit box down mm -hmm. to be able to accommodate one project and the legs that he, why would you use a four inch leg and a two inch leg and a, I, like, what, what, why? Why? And then there was a couple legs that he had sank. And like, I don't know if you guys, uh, so a leg bolt, you know, it's like a longer bolt and it has a screw pattern on the end, but then it's a straight shaft. Like it's not, um, screwed all, it's not screwed all the way up. So if you have one of those and you screw it in and you screw it out past your screw pattern, then it, it holds no purpose. Like it, it can, it can almost pull out. And so what he did on a couple of things that were not, again, not structural or cause any harm. It's just the way it was done. He screwed it in. He cut the screw pattern off. So he literally just pulled the leg out. And I'm like, why? What? You're trying, like, we're sitting there. We have the drill on it. It's just, it's, it's doing this. We're like, how is it only doing that? Well, because he cut, he cut, he cut this. Anyway, it was what it was. So again, good thing I wasn't live yesterday because I was just, I was in all sorts, but like at the same time, we got a big project done. We're heading in the right direction. That's all that matters. Stay focused on that. I'm gonna go cut some four by fours. I got the appropriate brackets and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go do, do it right. And I'm, and I'm very excited to get this project done. And Holly's gotta get down with her stuff because I am gonna need help lifting four by fours into play. And, all that kind of stuff. And I completely forgot Aaron's laser level. So I gotta do it the old fashioned way by string and string lining, lining my, so. Didn't we get some kind of, oh no, it wasn't a level, it was it's a, a tape, measure. tape measure. Yeah, no, uh, Aaron has this really cool contraption, that my husband, where you just, you can actually put it on there and you push a button and it does a laser level all the way around the entirety of it. That's awesome. Yes, it, I mean, it's pretty neat. Um, I do that to hang photos and stuff. Like I actually, it has a little tax, you push it in there and it does a laser around the entirety of your room. So all your- <laughs> I put my phone with a level on top of the picture. I'm like, oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> I, why would you do something the day way? Why would you do that? It's level. Is it? It's your phone. How does your, anyway, does it matter that Oh, at least you didn't use a, 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 a laser on the end of a gun. No. <laughs> Why? <gasps> oh, okay, anyway, PTSD. Sorry, guys. But um, Exactly, Heather. There's an app for that. So what I'm doing is a little bit bigger. Oh, really a bigger of a project. I'll call her right back. Uh, I'll call her right back. My daughter's calling me, so I do have to go. But um, I, I'm going to get that stuff done. 
when we are completed with it, we'll let you guys know. I do need something. Um, I will be starting a fund for this. Uh, they are requesting that we do GPS trackers on our wolf dogs. We don't want to buy, you know, 15 of them and, and go for it. Uh, we want to try a couple of them, but they are very expensive. Um, but we want to kind of get a couple so that we can do it in good faith, but they're $182 a collar um, per year. <laughs> so it's, it's, a, it's a yearly subscription for $182. And I contacted them to see if they'd do a price break for having so many. Um, they won't, um, but it is one they of the won't? best ones. No, it is one of the best ones on the market. Um, so, and it has a three month battery lifespan, which for us is important because the other one, the next closest one relevant with it is two weeks. And for us to take collars off every, every two weeks to charge them, to put them back on, we can't do it. And we, but we want to make sure that they work well. So we need two of them, but they're $182 a piece. Um, so, which is funds that we need for other stuff right now. Um, so if you are interested Morning. in sponsoring a GPS collar for a wolf, please email me or text me. Um, I would be honored to have help with that, even if it's for part of it. Um, we, we're trying to comply as much as we possibly can in this week off before the hearing um, because we, we want people to feel safe and we want to do what we can. So uh, we need two of them, $182. <laughs> They're called Fi Collars. Um, I don't know if we want to put together a list of Hollyisms. <laughs> dude, <laughs> so taken out of context. Uh, yeah, it's it's funnier in the moment. <laughs> it is. It's funnier in the moment, and that's all. I don't. We don't need a reel of Holly going where it's just like little weenies. <laughs> you know, like we don't. We don't need that. I think the best part is your daughter using it while playing a video game. <laughs> yes. okay. When she gets a kill on Fortnite now, I guess. Oh my god, she's like little weenies. And like, it's, thank you, thank you, you for, for the weenies. weenies. <laughs> I was like, you can't say that on Fortnite here. It's not. I mean, even though you're only playing with your friends, it's just, it's still, it's. It's going to catch on. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine if a Fortnite thing comes out where every kill, because they already have the, uh, uh, Ui or whatever it is. I, I, I always make fun of her. I don't know what it is. It's the, the emoji that's a word. Anyway. She so they they already did that because it became a big thing. But can you imagine all of a sudden they get a killer like thank you for the weenies? It's all Rylan driven. That's that would be <laughs> that would be hilarious. Be funny. And you guys know where it started? Yeah, Holly. Right here. Hollyism. Right. Um, I'm sorry. We will look into why those videos aren't loading for you. On what? Our short animal videos. They aren't loading very well. Uh, probably as a, a Facebook thing. Um, mm -hmm. it's, or a Wi-Fi thing on, on your part. Um, networking, if you're having extreme weather that can affect how your Wi-Fi and stuff goes. If it's happening on your cellular data, I don't know. Oh um, yes. Please stay safe on the East coast guys. Are they getting stuff right now? They're getting a big hurricane. It's been a, it's been a hard year for people. We had a wildfire here in Skagit County, which mm -hmm. we, we haven't had one of those for a long, long, long time. So Anyway, you guys, yeah, stay safe. So the court stuff or the hearing stuff is in our Popple account. So on the 5th at 8 a.m. is when it resumes. And you can just go to that Zoom link there and watch. Just make sure you have your microphone off. Yeah, please mute your microphones and please don't say anything in the chat. It's very distracting when people are being questioned. Um, and it does cause, um, it's, it's just not, it's, he doesn't look at those anyway. So there's no point to put your comments. Your commentary means nothing through this hearing. You already had your chance to do your public comments, and that's where it needs to stay. Um, Jinx is having a fit. I, that's him, that's isn't it? Him. Remember, I, I'm like, I can't, I, what is that sound? I thought it was a chicken over there. I did, yeah, I did. Meow! Jinx! 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 